by the way, uh, sad days would be a thing where you get shot out at the ballpark. And by that I mean they actually had daddy back there and they were even there. Uh, a good thing for me would be three or more. I caught 12 twice in my life. Uh, that's the most caught by anybody in one day. If it's just, you know, I've done it twice. I'm closing in on 3,000 catches. The total is all that matters to me anymore. It's just keep the total going. I would say our competition is generally friendly. Uh, we kind of encourage each other, especially since now with the senior citizens out here, and uh, we often compare it to, uh, well, this, this is one for the old guys or two for the old guys. And one of our biggest times happened last year. They had six home runs in the streets, and between us, we got five of them. So the old timers came through. There's probably about eight of us that regularly do this. By regular, I mean on a regular basis, these guys have been around for years and years. Naturally, there's been different guys, rookies and stuff that come in. They come and go, uh, some of them are just maybe they're going to be regular. They're going to go around now, but when I say these regulars, these are long-term regulars. But I, I'm friends with all these people. One of the far off myths look like <laughs> old, soft, really well broken in. Yes, I have my own uh, procedure for keeping my uh, glove in a uh, walking condition. I uh, literally, I take it up to the ball, to the uh, firehouse, and uh, they've got constant running water there. They, they open up a hydrant, and it's always running. And I take my glove every day of the game, especially on uh, real hot days, and I run it underneath the hydrant and uh, soak it up, really soak it up. And I'll set up my friend Tech with it and stuff. And, uh, it gives it a real good pocket and it uh, helps keep the ball, especially uh, for popping back out, especially when the weather the weather is still damp. But this thing is really well broken in. Uh, I go through about a glove about every two or three seasons. You know, I have to buy a new one and break it in. And uh, my breaking procedure is the same thing. I'll take it down there, soak it up in water, put a lot of shaving cream on it, wrap it with a couple of balls over the winter. I used to even bury it in my yet garden. So over here in the winter, see, because when you take a glove and you uh, put it away for the winter, it, it just sits there. It doesn't get any movement. But if you put it in the ground, it has that constant motion. Your ground freezes and thaws and freezes and thaws. Put in a plastic bag, you just put shaving cream the whole winter, get it out the garden. And uh, I actually get it out in the spring and the weather's softer. And then you play with it, spring comes, spring in a good pocket. You know, that's the procedure I do. And uh, which person you're talking about? Anyway, I, I like it. I try to hear you.